Brood 10 is on the way, and I want to taste some of these big insects. So today I'm heading out into the woods where I'm going to cook cicadas a few different ways, including trying some chocolate covered cicadas. And I'll also post a free link with some great cicada recipes. That is, if you are brave enough to try some of your own. I live in Northern Virginia, and we are still yet to have that big boom of adult cicadas from Brood 10 or the 17 year cicadas, or even the annual cicadas. The ground needs to be about 63 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit before the cicadas do their last emergence and form into adults, and it'll usually happen after a warm rain. And that's a good thing the boom hasn't happened. I want to find nymphs today, the immature versions that have spent years suckling on the roots of trees. There are also other cool creatures to find when out looking for cicadas, making the adventure quite enjoyable. The nymphs and the tenoral versions of cicadas are what we want to eat, not so much the adults. The tenoral versions are the ones that have finally climbed out of the ground and climbed up on the trees and plants and have completed their very last molt, but before their exoskeleton hardens. In this tenoral phase is the prime time to nab the cicadas and get them in the freezer or cook them. You'll have to get up early in the morning to find a lot of these. And again, that'll be right when the boom happens after the ground is around 63 to 64 degrees. I would be going for tenorals, but I want to get this video to you before the boom happens so you can try it out for yourself. Got two. This is an adult pharaoh cicada, a 17 year cicada from Brood 10 that I found last year. This one came out a year early the adults aren't as appetizing as the nymphs and tenorals, and the fungus adults have may cause them to taste a bit funky. So right now here in Virginia, all of the nymphs have already dug their tunnels to the surface. They've been waiting for the last month or more for the ground to hit that perfect temperature. I'm looking under logs for the penny-sized or fingernail-sized holes that the cicadas have dug and that is the easiest way to find them without doing digging of yourself. We hit a cold spell the last few days, so there really aren't that many near the surface today, but I'm finding enough to harvest. And it is really, really hard to ID cicadas in the nymph form, so I'm just expecting that I'll be munching on a multi-species snack. And do remember to turn back your logs to where you found them. Other creatures are using that for living. All right, so I think I have about 15 right now. It's a good harvest amount. I'm gonna cook up a few right now, go to the creek, and then I'll take the rest home for chocolate-covered cicadas. So what I'm gonna do first is parbroil them for a couple minutes, just to harden them up a bit. Uh, you know, just give them a little extra cook for when I roast them. I'm gonna roast two just plain and then I'm gonna try one with my special seasoning I like on my fish. Looks like I'm boiling. I need to put them in. Alright, well, my first fuel canister I was using up one and ran out. That was about more than five minutes of cooking. They're pretty black now, I'd say they're good. I really charred them up, didn't I? Oop, there's a leg. Alright, so here we go. Trying out some cicadas. First time. All this was was uh, parboiled a little bit and then cooked in small oil. Probably try the uh, abdomen first.
That's delicious. It was absolutely. Oh my goodness. Let's eat the other one now. I wonder if a lot of the juices in the abdomen got cooked out. Mmm. It's just like a little uh, crispy snack. It's uh, kind of reminded me of going to uh, maybe a Thai restaurant or something. You really, you really taste the oil a lot. So right now I've got the one that I just parboiled for two minutes. I don't want to fry this one. I actually want to just eat it now and get more of the, the natural flavor of it. Because I hear it's kind of got a nutty flavor. And the other two, I mean, essentially I deep, deep fried them in oil. So you deep fry anything, it's delicious. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Got a good flavor. Definitely tastes more of the uh, the cicada when you don't deep fry it. Yeah, it's got a good flavor. I wouldn't say it's nutty though. I actually don't know how to describe it. I've never tasted anything like it. It's pretty mild. Not spicy. All right. I want to get back and make some chocolate covered cicadas. Just adding a little disclaimer that some people do have food allergies to cicadas, so it's wisest to consult your doctor before attempting to eat them. So again, I'm just going to parboil these cicadas for about two minutes to harden them up a bit and give them that pre-cook. Then it's putting them in the oven at 225 where I'll roast them for 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I'll start melting some Nutella hazelnut chocolate and putting some wax paper on a plate. And I don't have toothpicks to dip them in chocolate, but I do have nails. So after 10 to 15 minutes, the cicadas are still a bit moist, so I'm just going to give them a few more minutes. And I botched up melting the Nutella. I started cooking it too much. So I'm switching to a dark chocolate that my friend had, and she said it'll be good for... Uh, melting. I've never melted chocolate on purpose, so it is absolutely far more difficult than it seems. A low, low temperature is apparently required. So I'm just using the nails to dip them in the chocolate. It kind of helps hold on to the cicadas and just placing them on wax paper after that. Once they're all ready, it's a matter of getting them into the freezer and letting that chocolate harden. So my friend Francis here is brave enough to try the chocolate covered cicadas that also have some nails in them, so we'll be careful not to jab ourselves. So whenever you are ready... Oh, she's going to push it off the nail first. That's a smart move probably. Well, I thought I should. The chocolate's pretty hard, huh? Mmm! It's crunchy and chocolatey. Not bad. Do you taste any of the cicada? Or Not at all. Really, just it's other... just a crunchy chocolate, like a praline. I had no idea what a praline is. No, I'm French. Ah, she is French. I'm gonna try one. And us French people, you know, we eat snails, we eat frogs. Why not a cicada? Why not? That was good. It's crunchy. It's sweet. I do taste a little bit of the cicada that I tasted when I was in the woods, but it's really good. I advise you trying this out. Yeah, I totally would. Thank you, Francis. Uh, also, a big thanks to my patron, Sarah, for suggesting the idea for this video. We had a lot of fun with it, and I think we're going to finish eating these the rest of the night. Spread some knowledge. Be nature heroic.